Have you ever wanted to be able to add some top navigation to Google Sheets, kind of like a website? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that, where you can cycle through the different tabs on your Google Sheet, see the data just like that, and go back home with a simple click of the mouse. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So on this home sheet, we'll go ahead and build this menu or this top navigation, and then we'll copy it to these other sheets. So what we're going to do is grab our URL or a link that we need. And so if you look at the URL bar up here, what we need is the last part beginning with the hashtag or the pound sign, which does pound sign GID equals to, in this case, zero. And so that GID is the sheet ID. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to build out our links here. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a black background, change that font to white, maybe set this to 30. And then let's go ahead and start building out our links. So what we'll do here is click on our cell and then go over here to insert link. And then we can type in the text for our link and then paste in that hashtag GID equals, etc. And so there's our first link. And then we can go through and build our other ones by clicking on that tab, grabbing that ID, starting with the hashtag, and then come back and repeat the process. So insert link, paste our link, apply, and rinse and repeat. All right, so let's go ahead and do some quick settings here. I'm just going to center these change these all to white just like this. And then one more thing I'm going to do before I copy this to these other tabs is I'm going to set whichever one we're on to maybe something like green, just to make it obvious which one we're on. Although obviously we're gonna have other data, but some of these sheets may end up looking very similar on your sheet. And so I'm just going to do this and it's very similar to how navigation works. And then if I turn off these grid lines for a second here, view show grid lines, you can see that we're getting a very clean look here. And then if you need to add some grid lines, for example, for some of your data, you can select cells and then use these borders here. You can set the color. For example, you want a lighter color and then you can do all borders or inner borders and different borders like that and go through and set those manually. So we can just do something like that. And then let's go through and copy this to these other sheets. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing and then go to these. And so if you need to insert a row above, if you already have some data, you can do that. Otherwise, you can just do it right here on this top row. So let's go ahead and just copy it to all these. And then I'm going to go through and change where this green highlighting is. because Right now it's on the same. So I'm going to change this one back to white and then this one to green on this one. Now, if I just turn these grid lines off, Let's check out our sample two here. Turn our grid lines off here. Go to our sample sheet one. And there we go. So now we can use our top navigation bar to go between our different sheets. And you can see that the highlighting changes there. It makes it look very intuitive and natural. And we're able to quickly scroll through our sheet that way. And so this is very useful, especially if you have multiple tabs and you don't really want to have to wade through all of them. You can put a simplified version here on the top and make it very quick and easy to parse through that way. Another thing you can do as well, if you are worried about scrolling down and losing that nav bar, is you can click and drag and freeze that top bar so when you scroll down, it is still visible. And you could even do that with multiple rows if, for example, you had some logos or some other data up top. And if you had that nav bar on the left-hand side, you could freeze that just like this as well. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.